My name is Babe Kwasnick with Villa Angela St. Joseph, and you're watching Ohio Sports Net. My name is Gary Hicks, head coach of Euclid High School, and this is Ohio Sports Net. Oh! oh. Yes.
I'm Ashley Meyer from the 2011 state champs, the Strongs of Lady Mustangs, and you're watching Ohio Sportsnet. <laughs> job, Billy, of, of keeping our keeping our composure. Of, we worked from the inside out, and then we could have took jumpers. It was an interesting philosophy to, you know, to kind of, not, I mean, I, I guess I commend them a little bit, and I'm kind of going at us, but uh, I think the foul was kind of, you know, I think it was literally part of the game plan. It appeared that part of the game plan was to kind of wear us down and, and be physical with us. And, We've, we've been there, done that, seen that, you know, from bigger, stronger, faster. So, yeah, I thought we did a good job of just taking layups that they gave us. I thought the biggest play of the game was they were very excited to be down 10, and right. he was pumping his crowd up. Which, again, I'm not going to knock that. Yeah, right, right. Then we called, you know, we called our, what's called our Boo Gibson play. All of our players are named after former players. And that's, a, that's an alley play that we've never gotten before. Just had a gut feeling that it would work right there, and that was kind of the end of that. You know, so. That's a big difference in our team this year, Kyle. I think we have, we have guys that know the rules, you know, and not everybody can be Carlton Bragg. So to have, you know, to, to a guy like Anthony Turk, who just know, he knows what his role is. He knows his role is to make other guys better in practice. He understands the value of getting a VASG uniform. So for him to get it, to do that, to score the 100 point, pretty cool. And Euclid too. And then your boys' reactions the time to start. Yeah, you know what, it, it, it's reciprocity. The, the, those guys do that for them. That, that's a, I think that's a culture we've, we've fostered. I think it's a selling point for our place. I think that's why a lot of people want to come. I'll put our bench 
the enthusiasm on our benches. That's, that's always what we kind of expect. That was the game plan, just uh, pounding inside like we did yesterday. So we, we they couldn't match up with us. And obviously we couldn't match up with them, so they played guards on the big, so we just took advantage of that. We've been playing for four years, so you know, we kinda of know the chemistry of the team. Like my point guard Mo, he gives up, he gives up the ball, you know. He takes the leadership of us, him and Jeff, uh, taking charges and stuff, so they they give us a little spark in there. And I'm like the energy guy too. Arthur, how cool is it when you get that inbound off the lob? Oh uh, that that's the play we got from um, Evansville. It calls Boo Give. It, it's real good. I I like that, yeah. You throw that down. Oh, yeah. I didn't know I was going to catch that, though. <laughs> it was. I thought it was too high. Coach has been harping about me, how about getting rebound, getting rebound. So I, I take pride and just try to get as many rebounds as possible and just try to help the team. I don't even worry about scoring. But if my team needs me, I will step up. A tough loss, but at the same time, I was really encouraged where our guys have been playing. You know, we've played three games. We're with 0 and 3. Uh, but overall, man, I see a progression for our guys. And, um, we teach our guys all the time, success is a process. And it's a continuous evolution of where we're trying to be. Guys came out, played out hard, played hard as they could, did the best they could against two big kids, you know? And, um, you know, and the line St. Joe's, man, they just ran their stuff and they knew where their bread and butter was. So they got it to their bread and butter and they executed and they performed when they needed to. So they did a good job. What impressed you most about Joe's? Their height. <laughs> Their height, that's really it. I, I, mean, um, I mean, they're a good team. They've been together for four years, and they play like they've been together for three or four years. So that's not surprising. And um, Braggs is a good player. Uh, Parton is a very good player. Um, and they play good together. They do that hollow thing really good. And as a coach, you wish you had two bigs that side, because I'll do the same thing. <laughs> Can't hate them on that one. <laughs> How tough was it for your boys? It's a cross-town rival. They're playing with some heavy hearts tonight. For that, you know, the moment oh, silence, everything. How, how tough was this game? I try my best to keep it level. Um, you know, of course they want to win. They want to win. You know, they practice hard. They knew they was going against Joe's, and they want to be that team to upset Joe's. Um, so, you know, but at the end of the day, uh, they all got together at the end, and they were just like, man, we're getting better. We're getting better. Remember what happened last year? You know, we started off 3-0, and and then we went on that losing streak. But now we're 0-3, so we, said we got a chance to turn it around. And they all said it, like, we're not really going to play a team with those two bigs like that. So that's encouraging. It's encouraging to hear. How, how good do you think that Joe's is and how far do you think it goes? They can go far. As far as Braggs and Parton take them. <laughs> as far as they can go. You know, um, Braggs is a good player. Good player. I like him. I like him because he's not a typical high school kid that you see now, just always trying to prove that he can play. Always trying to take some off dribble because he has that talent. But he plays within the offense that the coach expects him to play. And so you got to respect that. So I like him. I like whoever, wherever college gets them, they're going to have a good player on their hands. We can score the basketball. We can score the basketball with anybody. So when we, when we guard, and in we, and both, and both games in the second half, we picked it up defensively. When we guard, we, just, we, become, we become lethal, really.